Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss factory design pattern in Java. So first we will see factory design pattern overview. Next we will see how to implement factory design pattern in Java. And next we will see when to use factory design pattern. Alright. So factory design pattern is one of the creational design pattern. And factory design pattern or a factory method design pattern is one of the most used design pattern in Java. So don't get confused with factory method pattern. So sometimes factory design pattern is also called a factory method pattern. All right. In factory design pattern, we create an object without exposing the creational logic to the client and refer to newly created object using a common interface. Okay. A factory design pattern is used when we have a super class with multiple subclasses and based on the input we will we need to return an object of the subclass. This pattern takes out the responsibility of creating an object of a class from the client program to the factory class. Alright. So when to use factory design pattern, we, whenever we have a super class, super class can be an interface uh, or an abstract class or a normal class with multiple subclasses, alright. Then based on the input, we need to return one of the object of the subclass. Now let's have a look into the factory design pattern implementation. In this example, we'll create a polygon interface, uh, which will be implemented by several concrete classes. Uh, polygon factory will be used to fetch objects from this family. All right, so look at the class diagram here. A polygon is the interface, and it has a get type method. It returns a type of the polygon, and here are here are the several uh, polygon implementation. For example, triangle, square, pentagon, and here is a polygon factory, which will create an instance of these polygons for example triangle square rectangle so based on the input a polygon factory will create an object of these concrete classes okay and client will use the polygon factory to get a object of the polygon polygon can be a triangle square or pentagon all right let's go ahead and let's uh, implement a factory design pattern uh, with an example so let me switch to the eclipse id and let us uh, implement a factory design pattern. So let's go ahead and let's create an interface first. All right click new and interface and I'm going to call it as polygon and inside the polygon interface let's create a single method that returns a type of the polygon. I'm going to call a method as get type. Okay and yeah so this is the single method okay now let's create a uh, several concrete classes which implements a polygon interface so let me create a class and name it as triangle all right and this class implements polygon interface and here we need to provide implementation for get type method and here i'm going to just return a type here the type is triangle okay and let's go ahead and let's create a one more class and name it as a square and this will implement again a polygon interface and here we need to provide an implementation for get type method all right and let's go ahead and let's create a one more implementation for polygon interface let me call it as a pentagon okay and again this will implement a polygon interface and just provide an implementation for get type method that's it now we have an interface with multiple uh, concrete implementations okay now let's go ahead and let's create a factory so I'm going to call it as polygon factory okay and look at here the steps so we create a factory method that is static method here public static and this will this will you know uh, return an instance of a particular polygon type 
I am going to call it as get instance okay and I am going to pass the argument as integer number of sites okay so the basically uh, the thing is that uh, based on the number of sites uh, I am going to return a object for example if the number of sites are 3 then I am going to return triangle if the number of sites are 4 then I am going to return a square object okay so here I am going to post declare a polygon instance here declare as null and here I am going to create a switch statement inside a switch statement I am going to create an instance based on the sites so if the sites are 3 then I am going to create an instance of triangle class okay triangle class great now let's add one more case here if the sides are 4 then I am going to create an instance of square pretty simple nothing fancy okay and if the number of case, uh, sides are 5 uh, then I am going to you know create object of pentagon okay and here I am just need to put a break here okay in a default section here you can throw the exception like uh, not supported exception or something like that okay and finally I'm going to return a polygon instance here okay great so what we have done we have created a method that is static method and here we are passing an integer method argument that is size so based on the size we create an object of the polygon like triangle square pentagon and we return based on the input okay great now let's go ahead and let's create a client so i'm going to call as a client and inside that i'm going to create a quickly main method here and here the client want to you know get a triangle okay now how to how to get that so it's a pretty simple i am going to use a polygon interface so client don't know the implementation right so it uses the interface here as a reference type okay and here i'm going to use, uh, client should use a polygon factory to get instance of the triangle i'm going to pass a three here okay and here i'm going to put a sys out and this will let me call a get type method so this will print a triangle okay so let's go and let's the program and let us see the output so look at here triangle okay so you can if you closely observe this code here client don't know the actual implementation of triangle object okay uh, instance of triangle class so it is just using a reference of interface and here it is just passing a 3 as a argument to the factory method here okay now let's whenever client want to use a square the client what it will do it will just create an instance it will just provide a reference of polygon interface like square here and it will use a polygon factory and it will just call a get instance method and here it will pass a 4 okay and provide a sys out and just call the get type method okay and if client want a pentagon then it will just you know get a pentagon from the factory pretty simple right factory dot get instance and here i'm going to pass a side server for you and here provide this out and this is a pentagon so let's call get type method on it it's great right so very flexible so here we are using the approach code for interface not for an implementation 
so code for interface not for implementation means that you have to use an interface type as a reference type here and you, you you can change the implementation whenever you want all right great now let us say if client wants to use some other object for example it want to use hexagon or octagon now there is a only changes need to do in a factory okay so client don't want to do any changes so whenever we extend the implementation of polygon interface for example let me create a class here for it as a octagon and octagon implements polygon interface and this will again provide implementation for get type method here and here i'm just going to return octagon all right so whenever you want to extend this uh, family or uh, implementation we need to just create a class which implement this interface and you need to provide implementation for this method here and just provide a, a changes in a polygon factory you don't need to change a client here okay i'm going to call it and if the sites are it then i'm going to just create object of octagon here okay and whenever client want to use octagon then it will just what it will do it will just create a it will just use a polygon factory to get an instance of octagon plus object and here it, the client needs to pass a size as 8 and based on the input the factory will return the object in this case it will return octagon just call get type and just run the program and here you can see the output octagon all right so factory design pattern is very useful so this is how we implement a factory design pattern in java now let us say when to use factory method design pattern when the implementation of an interface or abstract class is expected to change frequently okay and the factory design pattern is used when we have a super class with multiple subclasses and based on the input we need to return one of the subclass this pattern takes out the responsibility of uh, instantiation of a class from the client program to the factory class so this we have seen right in examples so we have created a polygon interface and there are multiple uh, you know subclasses or calculate classes that implements polygon interface and based on the input uh, that is based on the sites the factory returns a object of the subclass or a concrete class implementation all right and polygon factory it, it uh, takes out the responsibility of creating object of the called polygons okay and the lifetime management of the generated objects must be centralized to ensure a consistent behavior within the application so we are centralizing the creation of objects of the application in a you know in a sub in a one place okay so polygon in our example polygon factory is the responsible for it generating the objects and whenever we want to change something uh, then we can go to the factory uh, class and we can change over there all right i hope you find this video tutorial useful and subscribe to my youtube channel whenever i will publish such videos you will get notified thanks for watching i will see you in the next video